Hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I read in 2017 that was one of my favorite books that I read in 2017 and it doesn't come out until February of this year and uh, I'm super super pumped about it. Also guys, just a disclaimer, this is a spoiler free review. I don't want to give you guys any spoilers that I think would detriment the story for you because I want you to go into it on your own and enjoy it the way I did because it was great. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a spoiler review when the book finally comes out. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know or don't let me know. I'm gonna do it regardless because I love this book. So if you didn't guess it, the review we're going to be doing today is of Your One and Only by Adrian Finley. This comes out February 6th-ish, I believe, unless they move back the date. I think it's February 6th, 2018. Comes out soon, next month. I can't even wait. So I'm gonna start off by saying I was offered this as an ARC from HMH Publishing, so I'm just grateful that they sent it to me. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. I'm not paid by HMH Publishing. Um, I asked for this ARC they gave it to me. I'm just grateful. So yeah, my review is not based on anything other than my personal opinion of this book. It's not based on the fact that they sent it to me. I, you guys know me. If I hated it, I would tell you guys that I hated it. But I didn't hate it. I loved every single second of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So your one and only is set in a world in the future that is basically perfect. It is a Stepford wife-y perfect perfect-esque world. It is set in a world where there is no disease, there is no natural disaster, there is no political and social strife. None of that exists anymore because the world is run by nine clone models. Uh, these clone models are just reproduced over and over and over again um, and there's just generations and generations of the same nine people. Now since this is set in a world with nine perfect clone models and they came from a human and they've just been copied again and again and again, they have also eradicated all the things that really make us human. There is no grief, there is no joy, there is no strife, uh, like there is no passion, no love no hate. There is none of that. It's just like this perfect utopia. Like it's just a beautiful world of just peace and nothing going on really. So since everything is a perfect utopia, we need a wrench in the works. So Jack is thrown into the mix. Jack is the only genuine human left in existence and he is introduced at a young age into this group of nine individuals into their classroom to see how he acclimates, um, to see how he interacts with them and if he can become an integral part of this society even though he's human and he's not a perfect clone like these other nine individuals. So it doesn't go too well. So because Jack is such a wrench in the works, he is pulled out out of there and away from the clones and not introduced into their group and their their society and their ceremonies he is excluded from all of that because he is a human and all of the emotions and feelings that he has they have eradicated out of their society so they don't understand him he doesn't understand them really he can't interact the way they interact he can't participate in the ceremonies that, that he that they do because he wouldn't understand and they wouldn't understand him there are some attacks that all of a sudden happen on this town and Jack is the one and only only suspect of these attacks because he's the only he's the only oddball out he's the odd man out he's the only one that is aggressive enough because he's human to do something like this or is he dun 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 so enough about Jack this book is told from two points of view by the way the second point of view is Athena 310 so Athena 310 is one of the nine test clone subjects. Her and her sisters are in the same grade. They grew up the same time. They don't need to speak anymore. They don't need to speak to convey their emotions. What the other sisters are feeling, because they are the same being, they have made it so that way if they touch, they can send their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions, everything. They don't need to talk about things. They don't need everything that one feels, the other feels. Every, every emotion, which there's not very many emotions because it's a perfect society, so there's not much to feel until Jack comes along. So Athena 310, after the introduction of Jack to their society, is just a little off. So feeling anything in the society when you are a clone is dangerous because your other sisters are going to feel what you're feeling and they're going to shut that down. Yeah, they're going to shut it down Negan style, if you know what I'm talking about. They're going to shut it down. Probably not Negan style. They're probably not going to hit you with a baseball bat. God, I hope not. This is a perfect utopia, guys. 
pay attention. So this leads to some pretty complicated things going on in this book. Now this book was so so unique and I just feel like it's going to bring so many of us together because not only was it sci-fi it was also fantasy it was also romance mixed in this book was phenomenal. It had so many elements from different genres that I just feel like everyone would enjoy this. Everyone would find something in here that they enjoyed. And I feel like this book could potentially bring booktube like together. Like those fantasy readers, the sci-fi readers, the romance readers, the contemporary-ish readers, because this is set in the future so it's not really contemporary-ish. I feel like this book is gonna bring us all together. Another thing that I really loved about this book is it never stops. Like, I could not put it down. I was, it was just going, going, going. The plot just did not stop. There wasn't a moment in this book where I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, well this isn't, this isn't going anywhere. Never, never, never had that feeling. Another reason why I really, really love this book and it made me so excited is because Adrian Finley is a new voice to YA. This is her debut novel and I cannot wait to see what she pumps out next. So I just have two last little tidbits I need to add. First off, this cover is different. Um, the cover has changed and the cover looks more more YA. I feel like the cover will appeal to a larger audience, so I understand why they changed the cover. I like this one better, but um, I understand the cover change. So if you go to search this on Amazon, I will try to leave the link down below, or wherever you go to purchase books, um, the cover is different. It, it has a series of hearts on it, I believe, and one of the hearts is cracked open. So I'm gonna leave you guys with one last thing, and that is the tagline up here, because I think it sums up this book pretty damn perfectly, and that is, there is nothing more human than love. This book is phenomenal, you guys. Go get it. Go get it. I'm sick of talking about it, because I just want other people to talk about it now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Probably not. I'm probably not done talking about this, but go get it. I already pre-ordered my own physical copy. I will be rereading it when I get it because I loved it that much. Go get it. Go pick it up. Seriously. What are you doing? Why are you still watching this video? Go get it. I will leave the link down below for all the information on this book, hopefully to the Goodreads and all that fun stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you would like to see any reviews like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to get more ARCs in 2018. I really would like to read more advanced reader copies because I feel like I really, especially this one, got me so hyped because I didn't see anyone talking about it and it's so great that I just, I want to read more. I want to read more and show you guys some books that are being looked over that shouldn't be. Should not be. Go, go get this. So anyway guys, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. I love you. Bye.